Today's webinar is, is quite exciting. I'll be going over how you might be able to look at adding in branded AI voices for your contact center. And it's, it's especially important, especially nowadays, we see a lot of contact centers needing that help. A lot of, you know, CX teams are overwhelmed with the amount of call volumes. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty exciting to see how, you know, as uh, at Resemble, we're able to help them out with our AI voices. So let, let's just uh, get started. I'll, I'll go over the agenda briefly. So we'll be looking at AI uh, with regards to customer experience and how AI voices might be currently used in contact centers. And I'll give, give a quick overview uh, for those that are kind of not familiar with AI voices of what they're capable of and what's possible with, with AI voices. I'll go over Resemble AI's custom AI voices um, and how you can create perfectly branded custom AI voices to represent your brand as, as a part of your customer uh, experience. And I'll also go, go over a couple of cool samples that we have of, of AI voices and, and different voices and, and what you can really do with AI voices and really showcase uh, the flexibility there. And then finally, we'll also look at different ways of you might be able to integrate AI voices within your contact uh, service stack. So looking at different integrations that we have available um, and briefly go over our API as well. So that should be good. And again, I'll leave ample time at the end for questions. So while we're going through this presentation, if you have any, if you already have some questions, feel free to leave it in the Q&A and, and we can get to those uh, right at the end of the presentation. All right, so AI voices overall and AI in customer service has increased exponentially. So in 2022, almost 70% of all customer service interactions interact with AI or conversational AI platforms uh, in some way or another. And that is a massive increase from previous years. And now one of the, the reasons for that could be that you know the pandemic has accelerated the need for customer service, reaching out to different teams, remote working, has also accelerated that. So there's there's a huge demand there to to kind of fulfill. And a lot of companies have been looking at, you know, ways to leverage AI and conversational platforms in order to do so. In fact, not all of these AI current experiences are the best. Uh, so there was a study that that VoiceBot had done uh, where they surveyed people and, and they found that a lot of consumers, 71%, preferred a human sounding AI voice. So this is in comparison to uh, generic TTS voices you might have heard of, uh, similar to like Siri, Alexa. Those are voices that they might not necessarily want to interact with. So even though there is a huge demand and AI is being utilized, there is work to be done in, in terms of what kind of voice experience uh, that customers prefer. Uh, and when I'm talking about a human sounding AI voice, uh, in comparison to other kind of generic TTS. This is kind of what I mean. Uh, so this is a quick sample. Hello, my name is Rebecca. I'm 24. I'm a very open-minded person. I love listening to other people's ideas and opinions. I'm very active. I go to the gym a lot and I also practice gymnastics. I also love learning new things uh, and I'm very curious. I've been known to spend hours on the internet researching stuff. Um, I've been working in call centers for about seven years. I worked for Samsung for a few years. Um, I would take inbound calls for tech support. I would listen to the customer. I would do some troubleshooting steps over the phone. If So yeah, so that's just a quick sample of uh, what we created. So one of our AI voices, and you can really see how that sounds kind of more personalized, almost human-like uh, compared to other voices that might be out there. And, and that's what kind of we've seen according to, you know, the research that's been done that a lot of customers do prefer something that sounds more like it. Um, so why does, why does your brand need a custom voice? Custom voices are huge right now in terms of, you know, personalization where almost half of consumers say that they will become a repeat customer after some sort of personalized shopping experience. So the more personalized you can make uh, an interaction, especially for, you know, customer support, contact centers, that the better it is in terms of overall the value you can provide. Um, and that's where custom voices come in. So what are AI voices? So we heard a little bit of that 
uh, just now. But essentially, AI voices are voices that are highly dynamic, they can be customized, and they can carry emotion. So those are kind of some of the things to consider uh, when looking at AI voices and what they can do. The best thing that AI voices can do are that they're scalable. So that's great for things like automation. Uh, if you wanted to send out uh, a lot of voice clips uh, at once, interact with a lot of people, you know, there's a huge amount of like call volume that a lot of customer uh, support teams are facing right now. So this is a great way to kind of help with automation. Uh, and the second part of that is that you can really personalize it. And that's important for things like call retention. So you want voices that, you know, kind of can match that personal aspect. And, and there's a lot of kind of flexibility with, with AI voices, which some of my next couple of samples will show. Um, but overall, AI voices, they are able to power experiences that weren't really possible before. Uh, so for example, um, I'm a huge Ryan Reynolds fan, and he has a bunch of companies where he's kind of like the face of the company. Um, a lot of the marketing materials uh, that he kind of puts out, it focuses on him being a part of the brand. So AI voices, what they would be able to do is essentially have him answer on behalf of their customer support team if needed, using his own AI voice. So that's something that could be done with AI voices. Um, you're able to have localized voices, so expand uh, voices globally. And I'll kind of show you what that might sound like later. But again, it ties all into the aspect of, you can also make it very hyper-personalized and AI voices have that capability. And this just wasn't possible before. Perfect, so how can Resemble help? And how do you go around finding AI voices um, or making your own branded voice? Well, there's two things you could do. So with Resemble, uh, one of the cool things that you could do is record your own voice right on our platform. So you would be able to, with just 25 sentences now, uh, record and clone your own voice that you could use, or you could upload custom data that you have and create a voice that way. If you didn't want to clone your own voice or upload uh, other custom data, we also have uh, a pretty large uh, voice marketplace. So that allows you to go through a bunch and almost more than a dozen uh, AI voices and select one that kind of matches the category that you might be looking for. For example, if, if you wanted to connect a couple of IVR voices, you can simply filter by the category IVR um, and you'll find a bunch of great voices that you can use from there. And I'll have like a couple of those samples which you can kind of hear out. So for example, if you wanted one for IVR, this is what that would sound like. Please hold while I connect you with an agent. An AI assistant might sound like this. Hmm, I'm not seeing Jerry Smith on a device. Can I get you someone else from their department? We have uh, multilingual voices. Hola, esto es una prueba. Hello there, this is a test. Esto es una prueba. Or if you really want to have fun with it, you could use uh, some form of, you know, digital character or even narration. And that, that's what, this is what that would sound like. I have no desire to be your friend on this quest. Or narration. This series will take to the last wildernesses and show you the planet and its wildlife as you have never seen them before. So you can really have either fun with it or you have a bunch of great uh, voices with the IVR that you can connect with your contact center. Um, the cool thing with, with all these voices, and again, I mentioned that they're all uh, able to be hyper-personalized, and the way you can do that is with something we call Resemble Fill, uh, which allows you to massively scale your audio capabilities. Within Fill, what you can do is you can even take existing speech data and create variables. These variables will allow you to generate a lot of different clips um, simply with a, with a click of a button. So here in, in the quick demo, you can see I can just create a bunch of audio clips with parameters that I set. Uh, and you can really personalize this with people's names, any field you can really think of. This is a quick demo of what it sounds like when you switch out different cities uh, in an audio sample. Our London location has a tremendous 50% off sale. Here, uh, we switch London out with Seattle. Our Seattle location has a tremendous 30% off sale. 
So you can see you can hyper personalize it so that it's relevant to the person that's going to be receiving it. If they're in a different city, uh, they'll receive an audio clip or receive audio that's personalized to them. Uh, this is something that you can also do with regards to promotions. Hi, John. We want to thank you for being a valuable customer with us for over five years and would love to offer you $25 off your next purchase. How does that sound? So in this first example, you might be able to switch out the $25 with $50 as a discount. So it's really flexible with regards to not having to record, pre-record a lot of these audio clips, and you can have those generated almost instantly via, for example, either our web platform or through our API. But that's not all. It's important to look at voice, not just from uh, maybe a North American perspective. I know today we had some people uh, from North America join in, but a lot of global companies and the global like top 500 companies, 65% of them have an international presence. And that's, that means it's very important that when you're looking to future-proof your technology stacks, you look at something that's you know, able to kind of adapt with the global environment. And you're able to do that you're able to expand your audience internationally with AI voices for any language. And we're able to help with that with Resemble Localize. That's where you can double voice into multiple languages. The great thing is that you don't need to record any additional data. So the data that you record or upload on our platform, that's able to be supported readily by over 24 languages that we support. Um, there's a lot more listed on our website, and I highly recommend if you're interested in looking at samples for a particular language to listen to it there. But this is kind of what it would sound like. So again, it would be the same language, uh, same voice in, for example, English, that you can hear the cadence carry through in French and German. So this is the sample in English. A computer once beat me at chess, but it was no match for me at kickboxing. And this is French. Un ordinateur m'a déjà battu aux échecs, mais il n'était pas à ma hauteur au kickboxing. Or across in German. Ein computer hat mich einmal beim Schach besiegt, aber beim kickboxen war er mir nicht gewachsen. Perfect. So you can really hear how the voice is able to carry over, not just in English, in French, German, but overall across multiple languages. So that's something that we find quite exciting. Overall, there's a lot of cool things that our AI voices are capable of. Um, this kind of just scratches the, the surface with regards to what AI voices are capable of for contact centers. Uh, but there's really a lot you could do. And in order to kind of make this happen and make it easy for everyone, there's some built-in integrations we have uh, with some of the contact centers you might already be using. So things like TalkTest, Dialogflow that you can integrate with. And I know when everyone was registering for the webinar, there were quite a few different contact center solutions out there. Um, and we're adding support to them constantly. If there is a particular one that you're looking for, you can always get in touch with, with Resemble after. Um, another way you could integrate any sort of uh, tech stack that you're using uh, is with our interactive API. So our API is a great way for you to connect whatever tools that you're using and generate audio. So for example, all the programmatic audio I'd refer to with regards to resemble fill, that's something you can use uh, the API for um, in order to generate all the samples that you might need on the fly or have them generated so that you can integrate it with your product. And our goal with this is to give your customers a custom experience. And that's kind of what we're trying to do with branded AI voices voices that will sound distinct, that sound exactly like you, whether it's different accents that you want, whether it's personalized uh, messaging, you can get a voice that sounds exactly right for you and incorporate that in your customer experience. Again, so if you wanted to learn how to integrate Resemble AI's voice in 30 minutes or less, feel free to book a demo with us, shoot us an email at team at Resemble AI or you book a quick meeting on our website and uh, we can help you out and integrate exactly with the tools that you're looking for there as well.